Yourself a break, darling. It's just winter. The honey's still sweet, it just runs slow. Don't you worry, it'll all grow back. Don't you worry, it all comes back. Tiniest of buds brimming inside Frozen branches they know what to do Don't you worry, it'll all grow back Don't you worry, it all comes back posting the vlogs more consecutively or more consistently. Um, I just wanted to take a second to say thank you so much to my lovely patrons. You guys are the best, have all the patience in the world, and I really enjoy, uh, like I've mentioned before, kind of working through ideas and issues and just like regular artist stuff on Patreon. So if you are interested in joining us there, I'll have that linked below. Um, there's a lot going on, which is the reason it's been really hard to stay consistent, but I am trying my best to come up with a schedule that I can stick to. Um, definitely doing it bi-weekly at this point, but I want to get back to weekly or, if at all possible, double videos a week. Um, or bi-monthly, not bi-weekly. Um, I have a new family member as you saw in the beginning of the video. This is my familiar right now. <laughs> oh my god, he's so crazy. I don't know what it is. Is it just my kittens that do not like being held? Greg was the same way. Um, <laughs> he's been keeping me up, which is one of the other reasons I've been so tired. That I have recently um, been looking into is therapy. Um, I've been very interested in therapy for a long time and haven't taken the step. <laughs> Sorry, that was garbage. Um, I haven't taken the steps into actually like making it happen. Um, but one of my favorite podcasts, my favorite murder, is very open about it and they always go to therapy. They go to therapy like I think at some point, like they. They boast that they wish they could go every day, but I think they go a few times a week. 
Um, and you know the the you know uh, my goal is to eventually be able to do art full time. And while I have health insurance right now, be it for as long as I do have it, um, I'd like to take advantage of it because if I go to therapy, it's only a copay. So. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that I am trying to work out and I think that therapy is going to be super beneficial and um, I'm excited and nervous because I'm just scared of where you end up going in therapy. It's a lot of kind of like self-discovery and uh, probably talking and trying to think about things you don't really want to think about or talk about and that's the point though. I feel like um, a lot of us let things kind of fester or um, you feel like you're a nuisance to someone else so you don't want to talk to them about it or bring it up but it's something that needs to be discussed and you kind of need to work through it so I think that therapy is really important. I've gone only to family therapy but not one-on-one -on -one therapy which is both like I said exciting and nerve-wracking. Um, so it's been a process. Uh, my job gave me like a list of therapists to go visit or to go through um, that are through you know our provider. Um, so it's been a bit of homework trying to figure out which one's gonna work for me. And uh, therapy is like I'm assume, I've heard that working with therapists is very similar to working with, or finding like a doctor that you feel comfortable with. Um, so I am preparing myself for that. Um, let me know if you guys have gone to therapy and what your thoughts are about it and your experiences or how it helped you just because I, I think it's really important. I'm a huge advocate for just kind of mental health in general. Um, I don't think it's good to let things kind of bubble and I wholeheartedly feel that uh, mental health is first the thing that you need to try and uh, fix or work on because what ends up happening is if, it, if you do not address your mental health it'll stem in a different form as far as like health go health like your body like for example um, if I'm really stressed out or anxious I start breaking out in hives which is physical trait so you know you might go to your doctor and say hey I don't know I need a prescription for my hives that I keep getting but then you don't realize like oh I get hives every time I get really stressed out or have really bad anxiety so you realize like okay I need to address the mental health, mental health part of that um, so that is where I'm at right now um, I think that it's gonna be difficult but good and I would like to make therapy something that is part of just uh, standard thing that I do in my um, in my just like monthly health. I'd, I'd like to go, I'd like to start by going monthly um, and see where that gets me but I just think it's so important just like I don't know if it's just Western society but we do not put enough emphasis on mental health um, and I think it's really important and hopefully more and more people opening up about it will be able to make it less of a stigma even when I call to set up and call about trying to get therapy it was kind of scary because they'll transfer to the psych call the psychiatric department which makes me feel like I'm crazy and I just I just want to talk to somebody you know what I mean and um, even if you were like say it was like you know say you're you are suffering from like some sort of mental illness like depression or something like that or bipolar or anything like that and you call and you're calling for the psychiatric department it just sounds menacing and um i just i don't know i think that there there needs to be a shift in the way that mental health is handled um, but I do feel hopeful about it I feel like there's people that definitely are trying to make those strides and push that that um, they're trying to push that push mental health as far as it being more socially acceptable I mean you you keep on hearing like apps that are supposed to be helpful and stuff like that and I think that therapists are one of the few jobs that's on the rise um, so I'm hopeful. I think that it's it's important to talk about it and be open about it because 
uh, too many people. Like I said, like you call, I, I go to a place called Kaiser and you call and ask for a therapist and they'll transfer you to the psychiatric department, which is just scary because it's just like, oh, I just want somebody to talk to. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you guys can relate and if you had any experiences and uh, what your thoughts are on it because I'm curious. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated just because I want to be transparent with you guys and, let, and I want to be able to kind of speak on it and make it more make it more of a normalized thing because um, I just think it's so important to be able to work on your mental health. So, and art is a part of that. I think that um, what people who want to do art as a profession, a lot of people use art as a therapy, which it is, and um, it's very like you, as an artist, you sit and use you use art, um, you use art as like a conversation with yourself. But at some point, once it becomes closer to being a job, you I think lose a little bit of that. So. I think it's important to try, and that's another thing, like if you are trying to be a professional artist, it's important to keep some art to yourself, which is something that I have a hard time doing. Uh, all my art is for myself, and there's a lot of me that goes into it, but at the same time, like working on commissions and stuff like that, you end up doing other people's arts and art and their ideas. So that's why I always think it's important to keep a sketchbook, even though I'm not in it as much, and it's always a goal of mine to keep a sketchbook. It's very similar to journalism journaling and uh, kind of having a conversation with yourself so that's why I feel so strongly that people should keep uh, sketchbooks so um, again let me know what your thoughts are down below um, speaking of sketchbooks I have a monthly like draw with me sketchbook date on my patreon if you're interested I'll leave that down below and again thank you to my lovely patrons you guys are the best um, let me know what you guys would like to see on this channel and if you are enjoying these vlogs because I'm having a lot of fun with them. Thank you guys and see you next week. Okay, bye. Stay sexy and don't get murdered. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye.